So here we go then. This is the crowning moment of the 2019 Daniel Ricciardo Series Championship. On the left-hand side of your screen, driver number one, last year's champion Sam Faulkner, who has defended his title. He is your 2019 unofficial, of course, DRS 125 class champion. Ty Stansfield will start alongside Sam Faulkner on the outside of row number one. And I do hope we have all 12 drivers. I'm looking down there. I hope we do because we had a big crash at the start of the pre-final. And there was a few damaged cars. But looking down there, we do have all 12 drivers to go. This is it. 12 drivers in DRS 125 head out. Really good to see that David Darling's cart has been repaired. It's Sam Faulkner in cart number one who starts from pole position alongside Tyrone Stansfield. He starts second in cart number six. Morgan Cole in cart number 302 starts third alongside driver number four, Matthew Pierce in fourth place. Daniel Walden starts fifth in cart number seven and driving cart number 230, the leading grandmaster, that is Mark Lawrence. Dave Byrne starts seventh in cart number 197. Zach Parkinson starts cart 301 from eighth on the grid. Will Checkley starts cart 240 from ninth alongside David Darling in cart 285, rounding out the top ten. Corey Allain in cart 308 and Oliver Mouge in cart 297. They round out the 12 cart field. 12 carts, 12 minutes plus a lap. Last round while the weather has held off. It's been dry, crisp and bright. All day. The sun is setting. But before the winter gloom of the off-season sets in, we have just one more race to bring you. Can Sam Faulkner round off Another successful title season with another yeah, win. I'll do a shot like this and show him. So, one more time around the block we go. Let's hope for a nice clean start. Faulkner on the inside, Stansfield on the outside. Lights are out, we're off and racing. It's another, not a great start from Faulkner. And Faulkner's been shuffled back in the pack. And that is Tyrone Stansfield. Well, he has shot off like the cat with a rocket at its bottom. And Stansfield takes the lead. Faulkner into second place. Well, I mean, Sam... Oh, and uh, somebody goes grass track. Oh, dear. That is a mud bath at the back of the pack for driver number 230, Mark Lawrence. Out of the race, perhaps. Well, Sam Faulkner is a, he's a pretty laid-back chap, as Dave Burns also having a bit of a problem. He's a pretty laid-back chap, but he was having a nap at the start of that race and has not got going cleanly whatsoever. It is Tyrone Stansfield who leads Sam Faulkner. Dan Walden is up the second, and there get Mark Lawrence gets going in the foreground of the picture. He's nearly a full lap down. It is It is Stansfield from Faulkner, Walden. Now, what has happened to Morgan Cole? He's down in eighth position. So you can see uh, Stansfield tiptoeing around turn number seven. Now, why is that? We have got, I'm wondering, is it raining? There is a few spots away, so there's me being given it the big I am about how nice the weather's been all day. And as I'm doing that, the reins have returned. They're on slick tyres. Yes, in the turn number three. You can see the drivers doing, oh, they're on slick tyres. Well, the last race of the season, we have Stansfield leading the back end, stepping out. And yeah, already, oh, and there's drivers in the back of the picture there going off. And that is another driver into the turn three mud bath. Stansfield leads. Faulkner right behind him in second position. Walden is third. Parkinson is fourth. Pierce is fifth. 
Oh, Faulkner on the inside there. Going through turn number one. They're tiptoeing round. Dave Bird has gone off. And here's the running turn. Now, this is so, so treacherous. Stansfield's got to get itself slowed down. There's Will Checkley going grass tracking. Bring a few leaves back on the circuit. Now, Dan Walden in cart number seven, closing in with the race leaders. And the leaders going off, coming through turn number four and five. Side by side, Faulkner over the grass. Oh. Andy Cox once again joins me on the microphone. The slippery surface flag goes out, and they're probably thinking, oh, yeah, really? I hadn't noticed. But it's Faulkner who leads. Stansfield second. Uh, Walden in third. Into turn number one we go. See the understeering through there. Nine minutes to go. Now, the order is Faulkner, Stansfield, Walden, Parkinson, Pierce, Cole, the top six. Mouge is seventh. Checkley is eighth. Elaine is ninth. Darling, tenth. Burns, eleventh. And Lawrence, a lap down in twelfth. But uh, the on slick tyres, and you can see, oh, Stanfield's got off a turn number four. Tyrone Stanfield's off a turn four. He scrabbled back online, but he's now coming in the pressure from Walden. And uh, what a dramatic way to round out the season. This is going to really test the skills of these drivers, Andy Cox. Wow. Um, we didn't see that coming, did we? No, it's, <laughs> the, the weather has held off, but no, Dan Walden is closing in. First lap of the race so far is 40.93 seconds for Tyrone Stansfield. They're going round in now 52, 53 seconds, but Walden is the fastest driver on circuit. And coming into turn number one, the drivers have just got to wrench that wheel right and hope at some point the tyres bite. Well, that's the problem because uh, obviously with a slick tyre, as soon as a, there's a bit of uh, water or dampness on the track, it obviously uh, sheens up the tyres and there's no grip at all. So it's really difficult to uh, actually get your foot down and get any traction so uh, you're not going forward when you're going sideways and uh, the drivers that have the confidence to sort of whack on the lock and uh, sort of snow plow the front tires will get the cart to grip and then they need to go really tight on the exit of the corner so that they can get some traction as soon as the cart is straight yes of course that's where you'll see the drivers looking to the outside line understeer is part of that but again trying to make sure that they can just get the cart straightened up as early as possible coming out of the corner there is morgan cole in cart number 302 just past the number 297 of oliver mouge now morgan cole down in sixth position and of course all these drivers have gone out with a dry setup on the cart as well as dry tires so the cart's not going to be feeling that great underneath them anyway there's stansfield coming through turn number four and uh, this, looking at the times there very light sprinkles rain but of course the circuit's greasy very very quickly here at Hoot Park Dan Walden of course now Dan Walden's caught uh, Ty Stansfield he gets alongside and he's got good traction there for sure has he got momentum now can he get the cart slowed down Ooh, just about teetering around the edge and of course you know, this is, a, this is a driver's worst nightmare, isn't it? Going out on slicks and then having a mid-race, which is not a deluge. I mean, you can't say that track conditions are dangerous. It's just very, very slippery now. Yeah, and uh, obviously we're inside, but uh, if it does stop um, spitting, it's also then about the driver that can actually feel the grip when it's uh, OK to sort of start to re-push and uh, push the limits again. And I think on the screen now you can see the rain beginning to intensify a little bit around parts of the circuit it's very localized into turn number seven lap time to still 50 51 seconds so they're about 10 seconds off the pace there is the number 197 cart of david burns faulkner leads on lap number eight walden five seconds behind him in second walden and here's faulkner under going into turn of the under braking second that is Dave Burns, I think, who's a lap down in cart number 197. Here's your second place driver, Dan Walden. And, of course, this is going to help the drivers that are slightly heavier. It's going to give them a bit more stability through the corners. So I'm just hearing, uh, Henry, that uh, number one, Sam Faulkner, uh, and uh, number six, Tyrone Stansfield, are under investigation. Oh, right, OK. 
So I think maybe that might be uh, when the rain suddenly came down. Ah, right, so there might and, have been a little uh, bit of door handling. No, I think uh, number one went on the grass. Ah, right, we saw, yeah, we saw that. Uh, going through the chicane, uh, Sam Faulkner was, was on the grass uh, a few laps ago. We weren't sure if that was the start of the rain. That was before I was aware that there was raining. There's the number four of Matthew Pierce. Now, Pierce is in fifth place. He's chasing the number 301 car. The number 230 of Mark Lawrence is a lap down. He was the first driver to go off in the rain at turn number three. Now, of course, it's harder to make a move and get past, isn't it, uh, on the opening. It's harder to make a move and get past when conditions are this wet. You can see that uh, Pierce has now got past Lawrence and is chasing... Oh, is chasing Zach Parkinson, Parkinson fourth. So the gaps, Faulkner is seven seconds in front of Walden. Walden is a further five seconds in front of Stansfield. Stansfield, four seconds in front of Parkinson, and Parkinson, one and a half seconds in front of Pierce. Then there's another six second gap back to Mouge. The best battle is between Cole and Corey Elaine. Well, here's number 308, Corey Elaine. He said yesterday he comes all the way over from Ireland to race he was uh, not enjoying the wet weather yesterday, but he's now battling away on slick tyres in the rain with Morgan Cole, who was almost a race winner early on. It's the best battle on circuit. Here comes Elaine at the inside of Cole. Can he get the cart slowed down? Under braking for turn number three. Oh, he, he just he has no choice but to sort of slide into Cole's path there. No contact made, but Corey Elaine moves into seventh place. And now Cole's going to try and come back at the inside of it. Turn four. No. Three minutes to go. So Faulkner and Stansfield under investigation. Checkley is ninth in cart 240. Darling is tenth. And now, all of a sudden, the lap times begin to come down again. So the rain has stopped. And you can still see the drivers understeering, but not quite as much. There's a little bit more grip out there now. And we're back lapping in the 44, 45 second bracket. We're still five seconds a lap slower than pure slick weather tyres, but we were lapping 10 seconds a lap slower. So the, the track conditions changing all the time here at Hooton Park. It's Faulkner, Walden, Stansfield, Parkinson and Pierce, your top five. Mouge is sixth, Elaine seventh, Cole eighth, Darling ninth, Checkley tenth, then Lawrence in eleventh and Burns in twelfth. In fact, Last time around, Mark Lawrence, there's a 42.4 second lap. That's his fastest lap of the race. There's Mark Lawrence in cut two, three, two. But you can see there on your screen, it's raining again. So just it dries up, it starts to rain, and that catches out Matthew Pierce. It looks like it's just raining at one or two corners. Well, Sam Faulkner has just gone round on lap 13 at a time of 41.845 seconds. But on our screens then, you very clearly saw the race. Oh, there goes Faulkner! Race leader into the tyres. Oh, my word, it's pouring down. There goes Sam Faulkner. He gets back out. Now he was 10 seconds in front of Daniel Walden. Where is Walden? There is Walden. So he's still in the... Well... You've heard of Danny Sullivan's famous Indy 500 spin and win. Sam Faulkner's not quite as famous crash and possible when we've got a minute to go. Faulkner just has a lap of 54 seconds. His 10 second advantage is now less than five seconds. Parkinson's up to third. Stansfield back to fourth. We'll watch Sam Faulkner come out of turn number two. That wasn't a spin, that was a proper bin it at turn four then. He comes through turn number three. This is where it is really, really slippery into turn number four. Does he get, he goes over the curb on the inside and he's on the, he's on the outside grass there, but he managed to keep it going. And Walden, four seconds quicker. Let's have a look, Dan Walden is not in the same picture. So Faulkner has recovered there through turn number seven. Here he goes, and boom, into the tyres goes Sam Faulkner. Now, he was so, so lucky that he didn't damage the steering column on that cut, the track rods. He comes through turn number one. He has got a six-second lead now. So after that, cra after that crash, 
He has recovered and has gone a second a lap quicker. Lap times are back up to 51.52 seconds now. It is Faulkner, Walden, Parkinson, Stansfield. The order. Corey, Elaine and Morgan Cole are battling over second place in fact. Uh, now, such is the differential of pace that Sam Faulkner in cart number one is coming to lap eighth place driver Morgan Cole in cart 302. Last lap board goes out through turn number one. Well, Sam Faulkner, he's had to deal not only with the attentions of his fellow rivals, he's had to deal with two separate little bouts of rain in this one race and a crash. Not a spin, ladies and gentlemen, a full-on crash. And he has recovered well. There is the number four cut of Matthew Pierce trying to pass Tyrone Stansfield for fourth position. We now wait for Sam Fort to come through turn number four. He just about squeezes around the outside. He's lapped Morgan Cole. But through the S's, Sam Faulkner comes around the final corner. Faulkner takes the checkered flag and the race victory. Sam Faulkner breathes a sigh of relief. We look back, where is number seven? Dan Walden will finish second. I don't know if Dan Walden knows if he's finished second. Here is the battle for fourth place. Parkinson has gone through in third. Who is going to finish fourth? Is it going to be number six, Stansfield, or number four, Pierce? It looks like it's going to be Stansfield in cart number six that finishes fourth. Pierce is fifth in cart number four. And... Uh, Mouge comes home in 6th position, 40 seconds down on the leader. Elaine 7th, Cole in 8th, Darling is ninth. Checkley 10th, Burns and Lawrence round out the field. But there is uh, Sam Faulkner, a relieved driver. And he, what a race, Andy. Well, uh, yeah, what a race. But unfortunately, uh, Sam was given a penalty on the last lap for um, oh. omitting part of the circuit and making an overtake. Oh, so, so. He, he got that at the checkered flag, I believe. Ah, so that was what the penalty board was for. So I'm not quite sure what that does to the order. The so that's going to be a one-place deduction, I believe. So a possible one-place deduction, unofficially there for Dan Walden may have uh, come home in top of that. But Andy, you know that race aside, what drama! But uh, what a season! Now we got the presentation to go, which I think will be live streamed as well. But uh, you know. The on-track action for 2019 is finished, and uh, what a way to finish the season. Well, yes, it was um, drama all the way. I think we saw some great Grand Prix there, uh, especially in the DRS 62 and uh, the DRS 100. Nice to see a young lady, I think, on the podium, Alicia. Uh, yes, Alicia uh, Popowski. Home track for her, great drive, and uh, yeah, those conditions then were really difficult. Yep, but again, you know, it's, it's testing conditions like that that bring up the best of these young drivers and we have seen uh, that the, the, the talent here in the Daniel Ricciardo series is, 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 is second to none really it's absolutely superb and uh, a credit to all the Daniel Ricciardo series team here I know Andy you were, you were saying thank you to the fellow uh, all the, uh, the the circuit staff here but of course the marshals here at Hooton Park yep. a big thing to them but again I think you want to say something about about the, the the boys and girls in the DRS tops there have stood out on post uh, in all sorts of conditions this year. Yeah, it's been a, a long season. It's been a great season. So I'd like to say thank you very much to uh, the DRS direction team, all the marshals here at Hooton Park and the owners of Hooton Park always produces great racing. We're coming back here next year. Uh, and I'd like to say a special thank you to Jane, who's the uh, coordinator behind the scenes. Without but Auntie Jane, nothing yeah, Auntie happens. Auntie Jane, nothing would happen. And, uh, and also to uh, our key people, Sam in timekeeping. I wouldn't thank Sam, no. Well, you know, that, yeah. yourself. No, but, yeah, Sam Taylor, <laughs> a, great, a great job in timekeeping. Yourself, Henry, and uh, also uh, your fellow commentator, Mark Fell. Yes, indeed. He did a great job in the last couple of rounds of the and, championship. And uh, Don in our technical area that helps everybody. Um, and scrutineering, uh, Darren Clark and uh, Tyler, uh, making sure that everything is okay. And of course, all the team here in Alpha Live. Brilliant filming, and uh, it's nice that everyone, if they can't make it to the race, can watch it all online um, and see all the action. Yes, and of course, that means that if you uh, are watching back home, you can share the link to the Daniel Ricciardo Series Facebook page 
and YouTube channel. You can also watch uh, this race back on the Alpha Live website, YouTube channel and Facebook page. But if you can't save the presentation, we certainly hope you do. There are presentations for the Federation Cup and for the, uh, obviously, all the three classes. Uh, if you can't stay and watch the presentation, above all else, please drive home safely. We'll see you very soon. Lots of news to come in the Daniel Ricciardo series uh, coming up. But before then, we've got some trophies to hand out, Andy. We have indeed. Who should we get to give the trophies out? Oh, we'll need a, a glamorous, a, a, a glamorous uh, uh, assistant, uh, someone with uh, enough gravitas to, for the, to befit the occasion. Okay. We'll have a rummage around and see what we'll we can find. We'll have a look in the back, see if we can yeah, find it. Yeah, there'll be someone. I think definitely, Andy, that, uh, yeah. that you've, you've, you've uh, mentored the Sam, drivers. Sam, have you got a wig? But, uh, no. no. Uh, but certainly, Andy, you'll be on hand to, 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 for the trophies uh, as well. But, uh, and again, thank you to our grid marshal, Megan, and all the uh, other officials around the paddock. Without Yes, me. we forgot to say Matt Daniels. Matt da and well, Daniel uh, geez, geez. and Phil and Emily. You know, so uh, I think we've... Just Just about covered, covered it. all bases That's there. That's it. Right. So, uh, but thank you very much. Brilliant weekend. And um, as I say, 2020 registrations. If you've ordered a cart or you own a Daniel Ricciardo DRS cart, you will be able to register from, I think it's November the 15th. November the 15th. And um, yeah, so we're looking forward to next year. And we'll see you all then. Thank you. And well, before then, we will see you for the presentation, live stream, the trophy presentation coming up very soon from Hooton Park. Thank you very much for joining us so far. Don't go away. <laughs>